Welcome to On The Go Solutions TV. Today we're going to talk all about the Motorola Atrix and specifically the rooted upgraded version that we have available at On The Go Solutions as well as our upgrade service that you can also find at OnTheGoSolutions.com. Currently we have a Motorola Atrix here running Android version 2.3. Um, this, this unit is rooted it has Clockwork Mod Recovery on it, and it has tons of enhancements. We're first going to speak about some of the operating system enhancements on this version, as well as the deep loaded ROM, root capability, upgrading capacity, and theming. And we're going to give examples of each one of these topics. The operating system on this unit is actually what's called the Alien ROM, which you can download from xdadevelopers.com, and that's the ROM that we install for you on our upgrade program or if you purchase the unit from us. Some of the great features of this ROM include the fact that it's deodexed, which basically means that you can theme the entire ROM, and we'll show you examples of that shortly. Some other benefits include side loading built in, which means you can load applications not from the market, it supports Wi-Fi tethering through a Wi-Fi tethering app, which, as far as we're aware, doesn't cost you any additional money from AT&T. Um, when you start up the device, you have the option of skipping the Motorola Blur setup, which is a huge advantage. Uh, no one that I am familiar with actually enjoys Moto Motorola Blur, so it's really nice to be able to get into your unit without having to deal with setting that up. Uh, one of the other really cool features of this ROM is that it does support 1080p both uh, camera and video on the device. So if you click settings on your camera, as you can see, you can choose from different options and the one that we have selected is 1080p, which is really awesome. This does not come on the stock ROM, so it's a big advantage of this particular um, version of the OS. Another advantage is that we have root capability on this unit. If you take a look, the device comes with the Super User APK, APK, the upgraded Super User APK, which can be found right here. And what this does is it enables you to have administrative access to your device. There's many applications that can be run and downloaded from the market which require root access in order to function properly. Uh, this is a large topic, but for an example, I will choose the, one of the most famous applications called Titanium Backup, which we have pre-installed right here. Titanium Backup is an amazing application which allows you to uh, restore, backup, freeze, and really manage on a low level uh, your software on your device. It gives you a lot of confidence to, to backup data and other applications that you need to either the SD card and even over the air backing up. So let's take a look at how root actually works so you see what we're talking about. If you click on titanium backup it's going to ask you for root permissions. If your device isn't rooted it's going to give you an error. Since our device is rooted I can click allow and the, the titanium backup is going to actually work just perfectly. If I click on any of the features, you'll see that you're able to backup and restore, you're able to schedule new um, backups, etc. This software only works if your device is rooted, and there are hundreds if not thousands of applications on the market which require root in order to function properly. Okay. Well, one of the great things about having a custom ROM and having your device rooted and upgraded is that you can, up, you can conduct upgrades yourself. That's fairly easy. One of the things that you need is Clockwork Mod Recovery Image, which this phone has. So if we click into our application folder and we go to the ROM manager, which we installed. Again, this is most likely going to ask for root access. We can then go ahead and, let's go ahead and get that started. We can go ahead and reboot into recovery, which is what we're gonna do right now. And it's asking for root access, and we're gonna allow it, and the device is gonna reboot into what's called Clockwork Mod Recovery. This is going to give us many options on the menu, uh, which enable us to clean the device, to wipe it, factory data reset, to recover the device, to do an Android backup, Etc. So here you can see 
the Clockwork Mod recovery for the Atrix. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and install a zip from the SD card. So we're going to go down here, we're going to select that, and we are going to choose zip from SD card. And we're going to go into our ROMs directory, which we put on your phone for you. And here we're going to install Cyanogen Mod 7 for this device. And here we go. Let's just verify it. And it's going to install. So um, one of the things that we want to do after the installation is we're going to use the Clockwork Mod Recovery to go ahead and do a full wipe data factory reset. And uh, after that, we'll reboot it. And when we come back, we'll see that this Atrix now has a beautiful, clean, pure, gingerbread 2.3.5 latest version from CyanogenMod. Okay, and here we go. So let's go ahead and do the, uh, let's go back one level. And we are gonna do wipe data factory reset. And we're going to confirm, delete all user data. And this should take about 15 seconds or so to wipe the cache as well as the data partition, which means all that your user information is gonna be lost. And when that's done, uh, the phone will reboot and we'll come back and show you the new ROM. Okay, so we're back and we have a beautiful Cyanogen Mod clean Android 2.3.5. Uh, no Motorola bloatware at all, no Google apps actually at all, and no AT&T on here at all. Uh, if you click the app drawer, you can see it's extremely sparse, giving you the freedom to download anything and everything that you'd like. It is rooted, this this uh, software, this, this ROM will run almost anything that you can find on the app market and you're, cho you're free to choose whatever you want. Uh, most people of course put on things like Google Map and Gmail and everything else. As a matter of fact, if you log into the market for the first time, uh, the market's going to ask you to download a whole bunch of applications with it, which it expects on your device. But um, it starts off perfectly pure and perfectly clean. It's really, really sweet. Um, if we go back to the home screen, we can see just some of the basic Google applications, or I'm sorry, Android applications that uh, the dev team has decided to include. But as you can see, it's very, very sparse. If you drop down, you can see you've got the power widget up here. We are running on AT&T. You got your Wi-Fi and some of the other options right there. Um, but as you can see, this is very, very clean, known to be very stable and very fast for those of you who do not want any bloatware at all. And the cool thing was that it really only took us about five minutes to get this entire piece of software loaded onto this device. Again, you need your device upgraded and rooted. And once you have that, you boot into recovery, you choose your um, uh, Cyanogen mod file and you load it, you wipe your, you wipe your data and cache, and you reboot, and here you are with a fresh version. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is also very exciting. Um, because these ROMs are DODEX, what we can do is we can load what's called themed ROMs. And uh, we, we here at On The Go Solutions picked up some really great hints from the great folks at XDA Developers, and we had our technician Lawrence here go ahead and, and do an example theme which we found on XDA, which we love. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go quickly and we are gonna go back into ROM Manager and we're gonna reboot into Clockwork Mod and we're gonna restore what's called, we're gonna do what's called a Nandroid backup, which is, um, again, it's loading from, from beginning, so it uh, doesn't remember that we had already gone through this entire process because uh, it's a fresh ROM. But we, we're gonna do what's called a restore from a Nandroid backup, which basically is a frozen image of a previous ROM that you put on your device. It's really neat. And uh, this is our first video showing you how to do that. So um, it's gonna take a minute for us to get into recovery. Here we go. And we're gonna go ahead and do the restore. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go down to backup and restore right here. We're gonna select that. And we're gonna do restore. And from restore, it knows the file that we're gonna restore from. So it gives us the options. Here we only have one. 
and this was taken a couple days ago so we're going to select into that and we're going to click restore now the device is going to restore all of our features all of the image files that uh, that make up an Android OS and basically we're restoring the alien ROM which was themed and had a whole bunch of really cool widgets on it to create a brand new look and feel so this is gonna take just a minute and we'll be back shortly and show you the results okay we're back as you can see we have a fully customized themed Atrix 4G um, with a brand new user interface. As you can see on our launcher bar down at the bottom, we have icons for internet, text messages, we have our application drawer, contacts, and phone. And this is really gorgeous. Uh, these beautiful weather widgets here, you click on them, it takes you to a beautiful animated weather uh, page as well as our calendar right here. You can click on it, go right to your daily calendar. And also we have our time and we have a battery widget right here. You can see that we're kind of running out of a little bit of battery. Um, as you scroll to your right, we have our Facebook widget here that has uh, real-time updates of Facebook. Um, you continue on, we've created a little media page here with our music, some of the camera, Netflix, power widgets. And here we have a Google search widget as well as a Twitter widget with real-time updates and back to the home screen. If you click on the app drawer you can see that we have a new application drawer which is a little different than the stock. Uh, the uh, icons, many of the icons have been redone and they're very very beautiful. Um, there's again no bloatware at all in this ROM and it is rooted. We do have the ROM manager, we do have titanium backup as well as super user um, and all of this was done very simply and very easily. It's really amazing when you have an upgraded ROM, what kind of themes that you can come up with and what great, great user interface ideas uh, can be created on your own phone. So if you have any other questions, come visit us at www.onthegosolutions.com or give us a call at 847-933-1762. We do sell the Motorola Atrix just um, rooted and upgraded if you'd like as well as we have an upgrade service where if you would like us to, to um, root and upgrade your Motorola Atrix, you can send it in to us and we'll take care of that for you. Again, you can visit us at www.onthegosolutions.com and thank you for watching On The Go Solutions TV.